All right, today's the day I start on Uriah. So I'm just uh, opening the mouth. It's already an open mouth sculpt, but um, I like to open the mouth more. Um, I like to open the mouth more so I could put a creamy pacifier in here. So I just use an X-Acto knife and open it up more. It's always a little nerve wracking to do that when you're cutting into the vinyl. And uh, sometimes people ask me, you know, why I do that or do I do it on other kits. I only do this on kits that already have an open mouth. Like this doll has gum, little tiny gums that are sculpted inside of the mouth, but they're hard to see anyway, in my opinion. So I just cut this part out. And it kind of gives it effect of having like being like a silicone baby where the mouth can open and you could put a pacifier in there. So I'm almost done. And then um, what I do is after I'm done painting the doll, I'll uh, put some black felt behind. So there's like a hole right there now. Hold on, let me get this last little piece off. Okay. So there's like a little hole right there now like my finger can like come out of this hole and so um, I'll put a piece of black felt right there and then it'll just look like you know like if, if the mouth is open and it's dark in there and then um, the customer can just squeeze the cheeks and put in a little pacifier I'll show you it's pretty cool um, I don't really remember what made me start doing it, but once I did it once, I just kept doing it. So that's a special feature that Uriah has. And pretty much any open mouth reborn doll that you get from me will have that. Okay, so I know it's really super bright here. I'm in front of my window, but you can see the hole there. And then this is a Wee Thummies pacifier. It's a little preemie pacifier. The brand is Wee Thummies. It's a real pacifier. And you see how small the nipple is? And then all you do is you just squeeze the cheeks. And then it just goes in there like that. See? It's like the perfect little preemie pacifier for your doll. And then you can have that realism of that. So. Anyway, I'm getting ready to paint this little one who I think is going to be a girl. And she's going to have a nice dark chocolate skin tone. So this is my ebony skin tone, which I haven't painted in a couple months now. So let's do it. 